Here, here we are back again, this time with the 48 volt PMG. Alright, this one I've already done this, a lot better results. I did this run this at a higher speed. I ran it at 285 RPMs, and that put out 89 watts and almost an amp. And with the 12 volt PMG, a comparable speed would be the 295. I was only getting 11 watts and 200 milliamps. Anyway, the 48 volt is much better. I'm not able to test the 24 yet, is the, it, it didn't come in yet, but I'm going to link this video with it when it does come in. Hey YouTube, just wanted to show you something really goofy with these uh, AC input grid ties. I'm not sure if the DC ones are like that, but just plugged in. It's just plugged in, it's drawing 1.2 watts, and I noticed over here, you see the light light up on my test light? The dump is on. It's not even running. And the power from the wall is going back to the unit here. And it's coming off the dump load. Now if I start this thing up with the dump load connected, like it should be, I'll get no power coming out. But if I disconnect the dump load, it'll make power. And here's another thing that's weird. At about... 295 RPMs. The thing was giving me 11 watts before. Different day. I'll start this up. You can see what it does now. Okay, now I'm getting almost 30 watts out of this thing. Alright. The dump load, the dump load is still on. Very, very goofy. Anyway, oh, this thing's not even focusing now. Um, next one is going to be with these two stacked. Okay, here in the manual it shows you can stack these things. The AC input inverters. Alright, so I got these two stacked. These are the 10.8 to 30 volt inverters stacked up to the 12 volt. PMG. Now, I got both of the meters reading, so look what happens when I turn this one on. Okay. okay, we got 23 watts out of one, and 17, 18 watts. Now between the two, that's almost 40 watts, all right, just stacking these two without a dump load. If I put a dump load on either one of them, then I get nothing, okay? Just using one, you can't even go off of that. That's an old one. That's 11. I'm not even sure why that was reading that on that day. 
but before in the previous video I was getting 30 watts 30 watts which is one grid tie and 40 with two stacked just wired together like that 10 to 12 extra watts just for having two grid ties doesn't really make any sense now this is the 20 to 60 volt or 22 to 60 volt AC input grid tie inverter um, I had problems with this one with the dump load being stuck on also and when I took it apart I noticed that all the AC input pegs go straight to a bridge rectifier so these units do not stay AC all the way which is what I thought they did I guess I should have took one apart uh, earlier but so whether it's DC or AC it goes it converts everything to DC and then back to AC again so that would explain why the test results with AC versus DC were pretty much the same so I guess I would stick with uh, DC and I wouldn't even get involved with these AC input inverters unless you already have them because you could simply run your own bridge rectifier alright YouTube this is the next morning and it's been bugging me why I'm getting 30 watts now as opposed to only 11 on part one with relatively the same RPMs you know I might need a grid tie wizard to explain that to me unless I can figure it out this morning here I haven't even touched this yet but sometimes when I turn this on the dump loads engaged and sometimes it's not but when I run the the PMG it comes on so we're gonna see what happens when I just plug this thing in here set this down okay I just plugged it in the dump loads on All right, let me take this off I'll start it up see what the watts are so it's still giving me more output than in part one but I don't have everything set up the same before I had this starter hooked up to it so my theory is the starter had just enough resistance to slow down the wattage so I'm gonna hook up the starter again and see if the output is 11 watts then we'll know where the problem is okay now I have the starter hooked up on the dump load. These things were probably either broke when I got them or I broke them somehow when I put the starter on to begin with. But I find it hard to believe that they would break in my favor as far as output goes. So I'm going to start this up again and we'll see if she's putting out 11 watts or not. Okay, I don't know how I got 11 watts to begin with in part one as far as output goes but now I'm not getting anything with the dump load connected to the starter so if anybody can explain what's going on that'd be great <laughs> 